What's going on friends? Thank you for choosing my video today. I hope you're well. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you're new. So before you I have three piles. Number one with the butterfly, number two with the smurf, and number three with the unicorn. A little boy in dress, dressed in unicorn. So today's topic is mystery messages. I do this every single day because we never know what's going to come out and I feel like we are um, it's we we have more flexibility we, we whatever comes out wants to come out so i hope that you can still watch these videos and come back every morning for another pick a card reading timestamps are going to be, lo be below for every one of my piles as well as all the decks that i use so we're going to start with number one very soon Greetings to you, I am V, welcome to your reading. Let's figure out what your message is for today, your mystery message. Let's see what's, what wants to come out. All right, let's see. What do you need to know at this time? Let me know if anything resonates. Okay, so you need to know that there's gonna be some traveling in the near future. All right, make a move. If that's not what you need to know, that's probably saying what you need to do. What you need to do is make a move, make a change. Put one foot in front of the other, make a plan, go for it. Um, this is also saying if you are, you know, if you were stuck in a standstill for the longest, things are finally progressing. You got, I'm getting like the eight of wands. So things are up in the air finally, finally. So that's what you need to know. Um, if you need to do some visiting, if you need to visit some f family and friends, this is a perfect chance to do so. That could be also what it's saying. Um, you know, use your discretion, be very safe with traveling and all that stuff. Okay, friend? Use your intuition, use your, uh, use your, your, uh, your, your own discernment. Okay, we have two cards actually. Hold on, this one wants to come out right here two words okay we have travel i'm sorry smile and inspiration so smile te teeth are not only for chewing inspiration learn from those who made a difference all right so um i think that what this is saying is that you are, okay so i feel that you are going to be working closely with others you're going to be engaging with a large um, a, uh, amount of people an abundant amount of people and so impression is very very important at this time so use your manners smile and uh, be, you know make yourself approachable etc etc it's kind of like having an interview you want to become you want to be you want to look up you know professional approachable and knowledgeable and you want to have good manners when you engage with these people okay and I feel that your presence is going to be so so impactful it's gonna inspire people okay it's gonna be like like you know you're like you're the light shining on them and so you're gonna be very 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 um, um, I was gonna I'm gonna say they are going to be very impressionable where you're gonna be able to inspire them and help them and guide them and talk them talk to them in a way that only they would be able to understand because they, they see, speak the same spiritual language as you. So um, now is the, the, the right time to start, you know, practicing your speech, your, your, your communication skills, uh, the way you present yourself, the way you articulate, and um, the way you hold your conversations and make, making sure that you're including everybody, you know, work on all that stuff because I think now is the time. Um, and travel could be that you're maybe you're spiritually evolving, you're ascending, you're you're going through your your awakening moment, you know, of you're evolving into a better version of yourself. And I think that in the midst of it all, you're also helping people do the same. Ooh. Comfort. Oh yeah. Okay, I like this. So you're you're right where you need to be. So all of this is leading to you, leading you to where you're going to be able to shine more and be yourself, be confident, and really be one with your, yeah, who you are to the core and um, be in your, your power. Be, you know, in your own confidence and comfortable skin, finally. 
So the advice here is to expand your horizons. So that's just saying whatever comes your way, um, just say yes to it. Say, you know what, I'll adapt to it. I'll, I'll let it take me to you know, where I need to go. Maybe this is uh, some kind of lesson I need to learn. So don't be afraid of change. Don't be afraid of new possibilities or, or people you know, opening the, your mind to different ideas, different ways of living, different lifestyles. You know, it could be that you're trying your hands in different religions, whatever, or you're learning the cultures of different people or trying different foods trying different divination systems, whatever. It's saying um, find comfort in wherever life is going to take you very soon because you're traveling, my friend. And you're meeting a lot of people. You're meeting a lot of people. You're, you're doing a lot of things and you're seeing a lot of experiences or you're going through different experiences or you will be. So I'm going to leave you with my feelings and blooms and deck since this is more like a nature -y. oh we have wait oh my gosh too many cards i'll shuffle that again since we have a lot of nature cards here let's see what the feelings and bloom deck for sale has to say if you're interested this is on etsy all right let's see what advice or what message wants to come through first from spirit what message wants to come through from from spirit guilty i make peace with the past okay so this is saying don't Oh, okay, okay. This is saying don't feel guilty if you can't bring your people or your things along with you down this traveling, uh, this experience because, you know, you are walking the path that is meant for you only. And you will meet other people along this path, but it, it might be for a reason and then, you know, you'll keep on going through the waves and meeting new people and then, like, a, you know, it's like the, a, a cycle, what's it called? You're on a... It's like a revolving door. Like you just, you'll keep on going, 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 meeting new people, learning new things, and then rinse, repeat until you're at the very end and you're, you have completed your goals. And then we have confidence. <gasps> I am unshakable. Look at that. I just said confidence. Comfort, confidence. See? So um, don't feel guilty if you can't bring anybody with you or, or anything with you um, on, during this spiritual evolution. But you will be able to come back home and see them again but you'll just be a different person like the fool going through his little that he's going through the major arcanas and ev all the little everyday nu nuances or everyday uh whatever it's called um <laughs> mundane experiences the minor arcanas and then he comes back a brand new person and he can be one again with his family and friends and at that point, you'll know who your real friends and family are, or is, because you are, you came back a brand new, experienced, uh, awakened person. You'll see if those people are really there for you, or against you, or not there waiting at after all this time. Okay, friend? But look, you're coming back a confident person. You're going through this crazy, crazy moment here, and you're going to be unshakable at that point. So that's what I feel for you. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar if you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going. The energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for your support. You help keep the fun train going. And I also would like to invite you to check out my Etsy shop. I have personal readings on there if you want to support me that way. Consider collecting one of your VLC decks by yours truly. Hey friends, hope you're well. Hope you're doing great too. Please do let me know that you stop by by putting the comments putting your name or putting anything in the comments like a smile we have the cheerful be cheerful happy 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 heart here think lightly think positively don't be so serious okay but i didn't get to shuffle for real the fool says be wise not right be humble be quick jump over the stick no let me stop um jump over the candlestick is that how they say 
Be, be nimble, be quick, jump over the can. I forget. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. There we go. He looks like Jack, right? He looks like he's tumbling down a hill of some sort. Um, so it's saying you need to uh, be humble. You need to not always feel like you have to have the last word or you don't have to f feel that you have to um, prove yourself all the time. And this is also saying you don't always have to be in the right. Like sometimes you make mistakes, own up to your mistakes. You don't have to, don't feel like it's like you don't know anything or don't feel like you're not adequate enough. We all make mistakes. We don't all know the answers. And even if you are a tarot reader, it's okay to look at your books. It's okay to stop the video and do research and then go back to your cards because you want to give good information. You, you want to get your, your good facts and refresh your memory, you know, on your card. Whatever card you're getting and you feel stuck, it's okay to pause the video and take a moment, meditate, marinate with the card a little bit, let it sit, and then do your research if you need to and come back to it. It's okay. You don't always have to know everything. That's what I've learned. Soulful, do what feels right. Okay, so this is saying go with your intuition, the feeling, the vibe, whatever you feel um, is right for you at that particular moment, go with that. Um, so that's what you need to know. Maybe you're stepping more into your power, your confidence, and you're forgetting humility. You're forgetting, you know, that you're human, that humans make mistakes, and you're not supposed to know it all, and you're not supposed to be perfect. And I think people will recognize and appreciate that, that you know that about yourself, that you're not perfect, and that you make mistakes, and that if, you know, let's say you fix the car and it doesn't work, at least, you know, you're, you, at least you tried your best and your intentions were good and, you know, you're sorry, stay humble, you're sorry that the car didn't work out or the car isn't working for the person that you fixed it for and that you will do right the next time and you will make sure you, you keep on working on the car so that it doesn't stop working in the middle of the road or middle of the highway and that you'll do, you'll do your best and you'll make sure that you get it right. So if you need to, you know, ask for help, ask or look up a YouTube video to refresh your memory on how to fix that car, that certain part in the car. Do what you need to do. Don't feel like you need to know the answers. And people will admire that. What can you look forward to, friends? What can you look forward to? We have the crazy fool. Okay, the fool, the fool's wisdom. Get in touch with what you want and need and make it your top priority. So this is saying take action. Take action, take action, take action. Um, get spontaneous. Look, go, go with what you feel is right. Look, it's saying go with the flow. Soulful, crazy fool. Do what you feel is right. Now is the chance. Now is the time. Now is the time to step into something that you really feel called to do. Whether it's something out of the norm and people are like, "What? What the freak?" Like me, I like to shuffle my cards all day. I'll go to my family's house and I'm shuffling my cards, and and people are like, "Put that away." And I'm like, "No, this is my my other limb. This is my my arm. This is my heart. I can't put my heart away." I have to work with it. I'll stop shuffling like a mad woman, but it's not going away. It's just going to stay there right in front of me where I can see it. <laughs> and anybody want a reading? Come straight. Come step right up. Step right up. That's what I want to say to everybody, but, you know, I try to tone it down. But whatever you feel inclined to do, go for it, please. That's where you're, 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 you shine the most, doing what you love and loving what you do. Go crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's go. Let's get crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, what is your guidance for today? Let's see what your guidance is for today is. What's your guidance? Let's go. Let's go. Blum, blum. Okay. Staycation. Okay. So it's saying maybe you need some time to relax a little bit. Take it easy. Maybe reflect. Do like the hermit and go inward. Go crazy inward. So this is saying go, you know, inward and do the things that you love look soulful go and and tackle on the spiritual side of things not the physical side maybe you already have that you already have that down packed where you're doing you know you're 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 i don't know let's say you're you're watching your favorite shows you're 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 um you're drinking your favorite drinks you're hanging out with your friends you know after hours you're already doing that but what about the spiritual side of things maybe you want to meditate more maybe you want to do tarot more maybe you want to go 
and pray more. Whatever you want to do, it's saying take care of your crazy spiritual side because your spirit is saying, it's, it's like it's saying, help me, I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you that I want to ascend, I want to go through a transformation, but you're doing other stuff, you're distracting distracting what my soul wants to take you, where my soul wants to take where the soul wants to take you. Um, it's saying to go within, act like the hermit. And then we have winter here, so maybe you need to hibernate. See? You see what I'm saying? Do you see? And you will find fulfillment if you go inward. If you listen to your soul, and you listen to your craziness, you listen to your calling, your purpose, that, that, that bell, that inner bell saying, ding, 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 listen to me. This is where I want to take you. Um, yeah, and don't forget your humility. And yeah, I would say, you know, keep on honing your craft, learning as much as you can, have fun. Maybe you need to set some time to meditate or pray, whatever you do. Or maybe use your divination school tools and connect with spirit, connect with the divine. That's what I have for you. My eye candy or for first sale as we speak if you're interested. And I'll catch you in the next video. Hey friends, hope you're well by the time you see this video. I am V, welcome to your reading. Thank you for choosing this pile. I'm using my Autumn's Delight Oracle mixed in with Whispers of Autumn from another creator over on Etsy as well. I'll have everything linked below. All right, Maiden, what do you need to grow at this time? What do you need to grow at this time? Yeah. Oh, you have fidelity here. So this is saying you need to work on your relationships. You need to work and grow your circle um, or strengthen, not, not necessarily grow your circle, but because that's what this is saying, what you need to grow. The maiden, this is like saying what you need to grow like as a nourish. Um, if you have a, a partner in your life and, you know, you haven't, you know, had a chance to connect with them because you've been so busy. Or let's say you have relatives who are far away. This is saying this is a time to start being faithful, being a loyal uh, friend, a loyal relative to them, or a loyal lover to them. Check in with your people. See how they are doing. Okay, what... What is coming to fruition, the mother? What is coming to fruition? What fruits of your labor will you be able to see? What fruits of your labor will you be able to see? We have movie night, <laughs> cuddles and chill. Oh my gosh, so that's like more, that's having more time with your, your person, see? We're in sync here. So you're gonna see that if you apply this advice and you really strengthen your relationships, you will see that you'll have more intimate time you know, it, it doesn't always have to resort to, you know, sexual intimacy. It's more like one-on-one -on -one conversations, watching your favorite chick flick and having fun over some popcorn and your favorite snacks, whatever. Take out the popcorn, stay home, cuddle, and chill. See, look at that. Everybody's in cahoots here. We're having a nice little good old time here. So I think relationships is, is like the main, the main ingredients here. This is what this is saying. Okay, what do you need to release at this time? What do you need to let go of at this time? What do you need to let go of? Scarf protection. You are protected like the soft and warm scarf. So that can be, you know, maybe not being so smothering, not overprotective or holding on too tight you, and have a balance. You can be loyal and devoted and give that one-on-one -on -one intention, but you don't have to be like, you don't, you don't have to go overboard. You don't have to start smothering them or um, wanting them to check in with you every five minutes or I needed to check in with them every five minutes. That's not what this is saying. This is saying to find a nice, you know, balance. So let's see what else. What is your guidance for today? What is your guidance for today? What's your guidance for today? Thank you for watching and for being here. Please subscribe. Your guidance for today is grounding energy. Okay, I like that. Ground your energy, my friends. Say, this is saying, um, you know, make it to me, it's like, yeah, you growing this. Like, you putting your seeds in the ground to see them flourish. So, again, we're starting here and we're ending here. So, that's what I'm getting for you. You need to ground your energy. You need to uh, put your foot down. You need to really make a bold statement. You need to be one with earth, be one with nature, be one with your real-life friends here. You can have friends online and, 
engage and you know have all that interaction with them but then when it comes to physical the physical form of people in your everyday life it's saying to really make that count and ground that energy okay friends that's what i have for you if you're interested in any of these decks like i said there are links below and do check out my other piles please please do please do check out what the other piles have to say and what my other readings have to say and i appreciate you for your time and for checking me out much love and i'll see you next time